Oh no, the bottom of mine is hard. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, I'll stop being annoying. So today what we're gonna do is basically draw our own silicone mold using silicone caulking and an acrylic sheet. We're gonna be drawing up our own mold on this acrylic sheet and then, once we have our silicone mold, we're gonna make a jesmonite piece. So, I'm very excited. Very quick little side note, the last time I worked with jesmonite, a lot of people asked me how I got it because I live in the United States and it's not really sold here. There are two places that I've found that have it. I will link both of them down in the description of this video, but I will also link where I got this exact kit. So, we're gonna get started and we're going to pull out our acrylic sheet and draw a monstera leaf. I want to make a monstera tray. So we're going to switch up the angle and I'm hopefully going to draw a really cute monstera leaf. All right. So first things first, we're going to have a satisfying peel moment where we're going to peel the plastic protective layer off. All right. So I've peeled the plastic off of one side and I'm going to leave the plastic on the other side just to protect it while I have this side up and we're going to draw on this side first. I do have a dry erase marker because I want to be able to erase it and also reuse this entire piece of plastic for possible future molds that we could do. And also I don't think that I'm going to be able to draw a monstera leaf perfectly the first time around. All right, when in doubt, straddle your desk. I don't like it, okay? <sighs> Using dry erase though, really genius. All right, you guys, I think this looks pretty good. So let's get to caulking. I can't get off the table. <laughs> um, all right, let's swing the foot this way and then, all right, yes. So this is the caulking that I'm using. It is 100% silicone. I think that's what you're supposed to get and it is clear. So I'm hoping that this works. We're gonna find out. Oh. My God. <laughs> yeah, I did just watch a video about how to use caulking. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I'm putting on a respirator. I have no idea if you're supposed to, but this is spicy in my nostrils. Oh yeah. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do now is go over all of it again to make it taller, because right now it's not very tall. I'm gonna go over it again. Hell, this is so spicy, oh my God. All right, so for the sake of my arms, I'm going to stop here. And okay, so it is the next day and we're gonna get started on mixing up some jesmonite. So this jesmonite I think is 
like AC 100 instead of AC 300, which is what we used last time. Anyway, it's a two, two and a half to one, right? So two and a half dry to one liquid. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is measure out because we have to do it by weight, which is so freaking stupid. I hate measuring things by weight. I go by volume, I'm a volume queen. I'm gonna measure them out separately and then we'll just mix them together. So I'm gonna start with the base, which is the dry. So just in case you don't know how to use a scale, I learned this when I worked at a frozen yogurt shop. <laughs> You put your cup on and then you turn the scale on, it zeroes it out and completely takes away the weight of the cup. So when you pick it up, then it's negative. You get it? So when you put it on, it's all zeroed out and now we're only measuring what we're putting into it. That is the uh, science class for today. Dust bag. Uh... All right, we're going to start with 16. Going to 16 ounces. Wait, no. What? We're going to 10. We're going to 10 first. Yeah. All right. Two pounds? We're going to two pounds. We're going past it. Oh, man. If I mix up too much, I have about 5,000 molds I could pour it into. All right, that's a lot. We've got two ounces. Nope, we have <laughs> two pounds, eight ounces of the base. So 16 ounces. 15.9. We need our own tiny little crowbar. Why would we need a crowbar right we now? We could mix with it. No, dude. We can open doors. We can mix things. <laughs> Ready, everyone? We're going to find out if this is way too much. Are we ready? A mother jasmineite and her children. <laughs> All right, so I think we've mixed this up as best that we can. I was looking at the directions on the website and it says that it sets in 30 to 40 minutes. So um, I've got like a fire under my ass right now. So let's pour it into some different cups because I wanna get some different colors going. So for this one, we're gonna mix this color and I want this to be like my main color. I'm gonna guesstimate that. Let's see what that does. Wow, I love that. Look how beautiful that is. It really is. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't know if that's gonna be a mistake, but I like it. We've got some more jasmineite here. And I'm gonna go in with another dispersion color. It is green. <laughs> and the next color of dispersion colors. <laughs> Oh my. Wow. All right, and then this one, I wanted to do this peachy color. It's literally called peach. Oh my God, it's setting already. Yeah. Everyone freak out. We're freaking out. All right, get the mold in here. Let's move it. Move it or lose it. Hurry up. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna- Wait, do I right. spray the stuff? Yeah. I have mold release. I've heard this stuff sucks, but we're gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Shake container vigorously before using mold. I can't read. White writing over white. Um, work spray. Work spray into mold and allow to dry. Ah. Gosh. Ready? Here we go. Which one? It's hard. No, no. It's not hard, but it's like. We're pouring. Okay. <laughs> We're pouring. Here we go. <laughs> Get off. Well, shit! There's barely any! <laughs> no, the bottom of mine is hard. <laughs> Wasted. Future. Listen, listen, listen. Everyone gather round. Gather round, okay? We learn lessons here. You're not gonna know that this is there. Unless you flip it over um, once it's all done, but we're gonna just mix up more jasmineite, like Sean said, and we're just gonna go over this and we're gonna try again, but I'm gonna be a little bit more speedy. But I, yeah, what we're gonna do is mix up smaller batches at a time, probably one color at a time. All right, here we go. So now we're going to pour this straight into the mold, which is here. And you'll notice that there are far less blobs in it. I was able to literally just like, not scrape them up, they just kind of came up. You guys freaking ready? I'm ready. 
Mit dir. That looks really cool. All right, we're bringing some blue back in. what it is so my mold is working the whole point of this video is the mold are we forgetting that i am i forgot about that um the mold is working with as much jesmite that we put into it <laughs> it's holding up i will see you guys tomorrow well actually no i think it said that it it dries in 30 to 40 minutes and we have to take it out oh really yeah and it said that it it needs like air circulation to fully like get its full strength so it's been an hour we've left it in the mold for an hour uh and i was just looking at the directions again just to make sure <laughs> just to make sure that we're taking it out at the right time and doing all the correct things after the first fiasco i don't really want to repeat anything like that so it does say leave your cast for about 30 to 40 minutes to set once you have taken it out of the mold it will gain its full it will gain its full strength. So we're about to destroy my mold, which which was the whole reason we're here. We're gonna start by peeling the silicone away from our jasmineite piece. And it peels away super easy. I knew it would, because this part is um, silicone, so I knew that this would be fine. See how easy it is to like peel this up? Wow. That's why I was so nervous. Yeah. Okay, should I just like, Peel this know. off. Sure. Oh my god. Oh wow. The sides are kind of gnarly, huh? Oh, they are, yeah. It's coming off so easy. Yeah, that is insanely easy. And with something so thick like Jasmineite, I was really worried that with this much of it too, I wasn't sure if it would be able to push the silicone over. This is really satisfying. Yeah. Ta-da! It looks like nothing. You know what this reminds me of? An umbilical cord. Uh, well, yeah, actually. <laughs> it's like a rubber band bracelet, but they would come in shapes. No. And you collected them. You don't remember that? It's this. No. Because this is what the bracelets would look like when you wore them for a while. Okay. So now. Oh my gosh. What? Is it like loose? Already? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ta-da. Look, we did it. We did it. 
Anyway, so I uh, ouchied my finger and we're gonna leave this to fully cure um, overnight because it says that it needs to gain its full strength yeah. and we're probably gonna have to use the dremel tool on the edges because they be jagged and sharpen ouchies okay. anyway see you tomorrow all right so it is the next day and our piece you're really zoomed into it but our piece is fully cured so you'll see how absolutely jagged they are like it's really sharp um so i'm gonna go in with my dremel tool here it is all zoomed in uh so yeah i'm gonna go in with this dremel tool it's just got like a little bit of sandpaper on the end and i'm hoping that we'll be able to soften these edges like a lot Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this has been way longer of a road than I ever thought it would be. But here we are with our hand drawn Monstera leaf tray. And you'll notice, possibly, um, that the handles are different than what you guys saw. It was very frustrating. The screws are too short. And then I tried cutting them with like wire cutters, and then it just got jammed and it didn't work. Uh, it was really frustrating. So then I had to run to the hardware store and get smaller handles or handles with smaller screws. Anyway, here is our Monstera leaf tray. It's very, to me, I was telling Sean that it's very like 80s pool party um, vibe to me. Just with these like white plastic handles along with this like bright blue color and the peach color. To me, it just screams like 80s pool party. And I'm not freaking mad about it, you know? I think it looks really cool. It is hella sturdy it is like really it's like a really nice tray i just think this is the coolest thing that like we hand drew this drawing of a monstera leaf and then made a mold out of it with silicone caulking and plastic like it was just so easy all right so besides some like residual you know silicone and some little spots of jesmonite it is basically ready to go again and i can draw a whole new design so i can keep reusing this piece of plastic and I know some of you are probably wondering but of course like literally of course I saved all of the scraps and even the little pieces that were in the cup it's perfect for making little terzo pieces so of course I kept all the even the chunks that we like blobbed into the mold so here are some close-up shots of our monstera leaf tray
All right, you guys, so this was super cool, and I just, I love the idea of, like, being able to draw up your own thing, make a mold out of it, and make an entire piece out of your, your drawing. You know what I'm saying? You should definitely give this a try. I will link everything that I use down in the description. Was that a sentence? I don't know. I will link everything that I used down in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you really enjoyed it, you can give me a little super thanks. It's this little symbol down below this video right now. But don't ever feel like you have to. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. You bet I was one of those annoying people in Lowe's doing this. Come on. It's great. Who knows where the rubber bands are? No one. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like I have hair in my mouth. If I do, ignore it. I do. It's on my tongue. Yeah, I see it. Got it.